Ah, what a glorious evening after such a long, hard day's work last episode. Living off the land here in Skyrim certainly has its perks, and uh, the scenery is one of them for sure. But as this snow begins to fall, uh, I'm getting quite chilly actually, so let's go warm up by this fire, which looks very inviting in this snow here. Very good, let's, let's warm our, our little farmer bodies up by this fire, shall we? There we are, warm your hands up my friend, warm your hands up. So my friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life as a Farmer. If you remember, in the last episode, it was the first episode, we began our life as a farmer. We began the repairs on our farm there, which we still have many repairs to do, it's in quite quite the state still. And uh, that's what this episode's going to be, is, is continuing to repair the farm, and actually, uh, by this episode, I want to have the farm finished, as in the farm itself, the land where we plant the seeds. So today's goal is to get this sorted, fix these fences, clear away all these shrubs, get some nice soil down, and uh, get ready to plant the first harvest. I think we'll grow some cabbages and potatoes and things that we got from Loras Farm last episode. He was lucky to, to give us, uh, well, quite generous actually, to give us some, some crops to begin our farm. Our giant neighbours are still here with their mammoths, although they're keeping their distance. I think we've both uh, agreed to a pretty solid and stern border policy. I won't disturb them if they don't deserve to disturb me. But yeah, today we're going to get this farm done and we're going to plant the first seeds of the day. I think tomorrow we'll hit the road and head towards Riverwood. And we have... Oh, the sky clears. Look at that. Oh, I see. it's even grander now. Look at this. But yeah, tomorrow morning we'll sleep, we'll eat a nice hearty meal in the, uh, for breakfast, and then we'll hit the road, head to Riverwood, get the straw we need, and then uh, we also need to get some iron fittings as well, so we can actually build the fences here. But uh, oh, look at this, the, the, the snow's gone now and the, the sky's starting to let up a little bit. But before I actually go inside and sleep, I'm going to treat myself as a reward for working so hard, I'm going to ingest a bottle of Daryl. As you all know already, this character has the affliction of uh, a pretty strong uh, skooma addiction uh, carried over from his beggar life. Sadly, although he's working towards a better life and he's doing well in that goal, sadly, some things still remain. And uh, one of those things is his vicious skooma addiction that he developed while living on the streets of Skyrim in Riften. But one of the goals of this series will, will be to get rid of that addiction and get back on the, the path of the straight and narrow as a little side mission for this character. So we'll work towards that, but for now we have to keep uh, taking Skooma while we can uh, to kind of, you know, make sure the effects of um, withdrawal do not affect us too much. But look at this. My word, Daryl does hit very hard indeed, doesn't it? My word, so vibrant. The thistles, the lavender and things. Look at this. My word. Right then, let us... This is actually very nice looking. Ah. Oh. Right, let's head inside then, get a nice sleep after that bottle of Daryl. Come on, we've got a lot of work to do. Oh my, this is much too vibrant. What have I done? This bottle of Daryl has made everything way too vibrant. Let's warm up with the fire for a bit. There we are. <laughs> are you okay, friend? Did the Daryl hit you hard? There we are, you begin to warm up. Oh, look, the Daryl's wearing off actually. There we are, nicely. Yeah, I feel comfortable now. That's good. It was a short, short-lived uh, high there. I think we've warmed up enough, let's go into the basement and I'm going to store a few bits and bobs, well mainly produce, in the cellar here. Right then, here we are in the cellar, <clears throat> let's go store some produce. Oh my guy's coughing, which means he's thirsty. Let's actually check our needs while we're here to see what we need to eat and drink and things. We'll go to bed first, but we're currently hungry and thirsty, so we'll go to bed and then we'll eat in the morning. But first I'm going to store a bunch of produce. We have our leek storage here, so let's store all of our leeks because we did pick some last episode. And we have 16 leeks, let's put those away. We've got some cabbages down here as well. There we have nine cabbages. I think we've got some potatoes as well. Yep, 15 potatoes. And I think I'll quickly store everything else I have as well. Oh, look, there's even some wine storage here as well. Let's store the wine because I think we've got a few bottles on us, haven't we? From our begging days, we've got some ale, some alto wine. Yeah, let's have got some normal wine as well. Let's store all that stuff. Very good. That's uh, a lot of produce stored. Uh, there's a big part of it that wants to just dump everything into one barrel, but since this mod has given us such a nice storage area, I think we should do well to try and keep keep on track of uh, everything in the right place. But yeah, also, actually, I'm going to store some gold in this here safe, because a few people mentioned, and uh, I, I somewhat agree with this, that this, this character has a bit too much gold to start with, because I've, I've got a lot of gold and items that I sold, uh, carried over from my beggar character, so I might store some coin in here, 
to use only for uh, farm stuff. Uh, and then it will mean that I'll have to work a bit harder uh, on people, other people's farms and just doing general jobs to earn gold. Because I think right now I've got, yeah, I've got nearly, well, I've got over 3.5k. So we're not really wanting for coin right now. So if I store st stuff in here and only touch it in emergencies, give myself an allotted amount, it'll make uh, earning gold a bit harder. Because uh, we've got iron to buy, we've got a lot of supplies to buy. So yeah, that was from a few comments that I got. And speaking of comments, in the first episode, my friends, I got many great comments of people wanting to see more of this character and see more of this series. I also got many tips and tricks and cool ideas for the future of this character, which is always welcome to see. So uh, continue to write those awesome comments and any more ideas you have, feel free to put them uh, below. Always welcomed and always appreciated to see. And if you haven't yet and you're liking the series and stuff, feel free to like uh, and subscribe if you haven't. But let's continue. I'll store that gold quickly. Right, there we are. I'm going to give myself 600 septums to work with here. I think that's a good amount because my plan is actually to sell, if I can find them, my glass dagger and glass sword. Because as my farmer character, personally, although as much as I, I like this sword and it's very powerful indeed, I kind of want to stick to more humble weaponry, like iron really. I don't want to kind of go above iron, at least not just yet. So I might sell this, uh, sell these glass weapons, because I mean I did earn them legitimately. So I think if I sell them, that will be my coin as well to work with, and that will be kind of my starting amount, I suppose. And that will go towards the farm, and I'll use, I have some other weapons off me, like this northerner sword I have. I think this is perfectly fine to use for my farming character. This is a steel or iron sword, and I've got a imperial bow, which again is a, a pretty low level bow. Perfect for hunting and stuff, so I think I'll keep with the the iron weapons and things. I've got my walking stick as well. My good old walking stick here for bopping people on the head with. Very good indeed. Right then, so let's hit the hay, get some Zs, and then come morning we'll hit the road, head towards Riverwood, and uh, get that straw we so, we so need. Let's go. There, it's morning, let's check our needs. We're currently very hungry, thirsty, but no longer tired, so let's go have a hearty breakfast upstairs, shall we? Yes, and then we can hit the road with a nice full belly. Very good, let's go. Alright, then let's go by the fire and have ourselves a feast. Since we are very hungry, I think we just eat some some hearty meat, shall we? Like a venison chop, that's a filling meal. I think I have a charred meat as well. A couple of chicken breasts. There we are, I'm, I'm full now, so let's just drink some water. I think three sips for when you are very thirsty should do it. There we are. Although you only ate meat, you pull out a loaf of bread. Enjoy, friend. <laughs> Enjoy that bread. Now we're no longer thirsty. We're fed and nice and warm as well. I think we're more than ready to hit the road. Uh, maybe in Riverwood we can get ourselves some new clothes as well. Because although this is okay, it might be good to get some fur or something to keep us warm. Right then, let's head on out then, shall we? Oh, there's a wolf right there. Oh, you stay back, foul beast. This is my land. What are you doing on my farm? Look at him there. He's trying to mark his territory with us. This is This is my territory. I'm going to step closer to you. I'll bonk you with my stick if I need to. Oh, he's, just, he's charging us. Let's get him. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, he's giving me rock joint. Oh, no. Oh, you take that. You give me rock joint, I give you... You give me rock joint, I'll rock you. There we are. My stick boinked him. Very good. Let's get rid of the corpse, shall we? We don't want to stinking up our land. But look, these are the troubles we deal with as a farmer. Pests such as this raiding our farm. It's going to get worse when we get chickens. Things like foxes and wolves will be more, much more of an issue for us then. We cast his body away. Down that way. Get him off our land. Let the giants take him. I'm sure they can have use of him. I mean, we could skin this wolf ourselves, but I'm not that desperate for meat just yet. I'd rather hunt some actual game. And well, what's this? This is a skeever. My word. We're going to have to deal with those as well when we start growing uh, grain and stuff. But make sure this is really off our property there. Just one of the many pests we have to deal with. We've got ourselves a rock joint now as well. And <gasps> who's that running there? I see a foeman. Who goes there? I th oh, no. I think I know who that is. I think that's a bandit explorer. We can't let them see us. Because we all know how vicious and cruel bandit explorers are. Yeah, that's, that's a bandit explorer. Look at him. That was close. Passing through the, our territory. On the road. Obviously on the way to kill someone. That is definitely a bandit explorer. I know them just by looking at them. They wear fur armor and normally carry two-handed swords. They're very vicious fighters, actually. They also don't stop running for whatever reason until they find someone to kill. They're like blood crazed. But we'll let them be. That was, very, that was very close. If he'd got caught a glimpse of us, he would have been after us. Yeah, we definitely need to get some guards going, because we're bandit explorers and, and general bandits. I mean, last episode we got attacked. I think the, the bandit's body is still there. 
but luckily there was a patrolling guard. We need to get some actual guards of our own, because one guard patrolling these roads just isn't enough. We need someone that can actually live here and can defend us at a moment's notice. But, we dealt with that pes pesky wolf there, so I say we hit the road, get our walking stick out for extra speed, and uh, head on towards Riverwood, shall we? The trading post. We'll see if we can get ourselves a, a potion of cure disease as well, actually, because we've got rock joint now, which will begin uh, hurting us. We're already peckish, are we? Is that the rock joint doing that? Uh, well, let's pick up this tundra cotton, actually, because this stuff comes in useful for crafting. We'll pick up some flowers and stuff as well. Actually, while we're here, let's go to the windmill of Loris Farm, because a few people were telling me, actually, that uh, you can make straw, which we've been looking for, uh, in windmills. So we shall see if we can, and I don't think you can actually use windmills, unless I'm doing it wrong. Uh, can, I, can I use windmills? I don't think I can, actually. I know you can use the grain mills that are sometimes on farms, but I don't seem to be able to actually use this windmill, unless I'm doing it wrong. Feel free to let me know if I'm doing it wrong. But we shall keep our eyes open for a grain mill, because I didn't actually know you could make sh uh, straw from grain mills. But here's Loris, our good old neighbour. Got good rapport going with him. Feeling sick? I am. I got, I got rock joint friend. Uh, a wolf attacked me. I'm sure you deal with wolves pretty regularly yourself. But oh, look at that. The sun rises over the trees and mountains. A new day has dawned. Let's hit the road. Actually, have I got a potion of cure disease on me? That might I might have. I have got one. We'll take that now. We need to get our hands on another one ASAP because those things are very useful. You can get a disease from any kind of animal these days. And oh, look. The dead pilgrim is still on the road. No. Has someone not come to take your body yet, friend? What a shame indeed. Well, I hope you're blessed wherever you are now. It's a, it's a very nice day indeed. Right then, let's continue on the road to, to Riverwood, shall we? Hopefully they, they have the straw we're looking for. I need to make some iron fittings as well. So, if, oh, there's a shield floating in the air there. Always good to see. Oh no, there's a dead guard! Oh no, who did this? My word. A guard has fallen. His arm's broken, look at this. Oh no. Please. Or did he die last episode, maybe? I can't quite remember. Well, we'll put his body up against this wall, so he's, uh... He can be found easy by his friends. You stay there, friend. I'll put your body up there. There we are. You stay there for now, friend. Right, let's go back on the road. Would anyone think we have anything to do with that death? Wonder if our adventurer companions are still up this way. Well, our friends. Yep, the adventurers are still here, looking for their next quest, are they? I wish I wish one day you, 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 you were to find it, friends. The experienced adventurer. Yes. Nice little party. Well met. I hope they stay there, actually. They'll be useful to run to if we need need their help. Oh, my, what's that? Oh, my! An assassin! Speaking of my adventurer friends, friends, help me! An assassin is after me! Yes, come on. Fight, fight with me. Help me, friends. Come on, friends. Adventurers, I'm a, I'm a mere farmer in need of your help. And you and you flee? You run from the assassin? I, at, my, at my time of need. I guess I'll run to the guards, then, if these so-called adventurers won't even help me. My word, guards! Guards, I'm a butter citizen in need of help. Please say there's guards here. Guards? I know, yes, there is, there's a guy here. Is there any guards? Ow, this assassin is cutting me! The guards won't even help me. Guards? What do you mean, look the other way? This isn't my fight. This isn't my fight. Am, am, I, am I to take this, this assassin on myself? Who's after me? I've got a walking stick. It'll do the job of... Oh, actually, it's not very effective. Beat him away with my stick. These adventurers, do they not want to help a, a farmer in need? I could give them coin or something, anything. Please, I beg of you, please help me. I need you now. So someone's obviously put a contract against me. Right. We'll have to deal with this guy. Give him one of these. We'll, we'll just chip away his help with our walking stick. We keep running back. We'll run towards Riverwood. Not, not a single guard wants to help me. This guy's going to beat me. Right, all we can do is run at this point. Yes, we are. I don't want to, though. An assassin. Maybe it was one of the old beggars or something. Maybe I owe someone skewer money or something. Will this guy not even help me in my time of need? Afflicted refugee? Come on, sp spend your last moments of your life helping a citizen. Yeah. Okay, so people just want to openly allow a Dark Brotherhood assassin to attempt to kill a humble farmer, I guess. That's not very, uh... That's not very good of, the, of a hold, such as a white run. Well, I'm sure we can lead him to his death. 
Well, we can't beat him ourselves. Like, part of me wants to use that glass sword, but I want to try and stick to some semblance of a, of a rule system here uh, in life as a farmer. Everyone's running. Not a singular guard wants to help me, huh? Although, I can use a bow. I will pull out my bow and I will fell this assassin sent to, to kill me. So you come towards me, give me plenty of time to fill you with arrows. Or if I don't miss every shot. That's it. This guy's so very tough, he's very tough. I'm just not I'm just not strong enough as a, of a fighter to, to beat a dark weather assassin trained in the arts of killing. Come on, be gone. Be gone, would you? I want to plant seed. That's all I want. Perhaps this mage will help me. God, another fight. Come on, fire mage. Come on, fire wizard. Show me your, your true strength. Your true prowess with the arts of magic. Oh, yes, he's helping me. Yes, the fire wizard's helping me. Yes. Fell the assassin fire wizard. Show me your true prowess in battle. There we are. He did it. He saved us. Please, fire wizard, allow me to give you some, some coin or reward for, for, for saving me, please. Let it be known that this, this fire wizard is... A noble man indeed. He may be banned from wherever he is from, but he saved me from from this assassin who would have slit my throat. Dark Brother Assassin's Note, here it is. As instructed, you are to eliminate the Rat King by any means necessary. A black sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We already received a repayment for this contract. Freddy's not Astrid, okay. So someone is, uh... Maybe it's a schooner I took or something. Do you know what? I'm gonna take his bandola just as evidence that the Dark Brother were after me. I think that's more than fair. Uh, I'll leave his sword though and stuff. Right, that was a close call, man. On the way to Riverwood, as a simple farmer, and that happened. So while I was here, actually, I wanted to pick some more crops. So I think I'm gonna go back to these farms and pick some crops because we ran past loads of this tundra cotton, which we want every piece of that possible. And I saw some crops over here as well that we're going to want to pick. Because we haven't got any gourds yet, and those would be great to plant. We want a good crop diversity when we, when, it, when we begin planting our own crops. So if we grab these leeks and things. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, so I guess someone back in Riften still has it out for me, huh? Back when I was the Rat King. Living in the sewers. Do you not know that I've reformed my life now? I guess not. Alright, let's go onwards then, shall we? Oh look, some citizens. Hello. Yeah, that is a dead. That is a Dark Brotherhood member, by the way. Just so you know. Yeah. So I'm actually while we're here, I'm gonna go into why I'm not looting yeah. this guy for all his weapons to sell. Uh, simply because I'm trying to stick to some kind of rule system here, because Skyrim makes it very, very easy to earn gold in this game. I want to make it a bit harder by kind of earning gold only from um, doing jobs, you know, doing farming or wood cutting or mining and stuff. Um, so, so it's kind of looting and selling every sword is not like, I don't know, it'll make us too rich too quickly and defeat the purpose of uh, role playing as this character. Although I am selling the glass sword, that is only going to get me going in this game. Uh, after those are sold, I won't be doing that again. Me selling those glass swords is like saying goodbye to the life of the Rat King are you and becoming a farmer. A grotesque? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to ogle friend. I, please, be on your way in peace. I, I wish you the best. Look at this. Look at that nice. Look at that. Is that a stag or something. Oh, there's two of them. Plenty of game to hunt in the future. Let's return to our walking stick, shall we? Me coated in blood. Look at my hands. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I'm not very combat effective as this character, especially not against the Dark Brotherhood, but I was expecting those uh, adventurers to come help me, you know. They look like a party of adventurers, and instead they left me to fend for myself, a, a mere farmer. Let's, uh, let's pick up this rabbit, shall we? We don't want that to go to waste. Yeah, even the guards left me as well. I, I guess the reputation of the Dark Brotherhood precedes them and no one really wants to mess with them because they're quite effective in combat. Oh, there's a wolf here. Stay back. Do not give me rock shot again, please. I beg of you. Stay back. There we are. Oh my, I cracked his whole head off. Look at that. <laughs> my word. Is there another wolf knocking about, is there? Go on, show yourself, wolf. There you are in the water. I'll hit you from that down there. I'll bonk you with my stick. The stick's quite an effective anti-wolf weapon. I'll give it, give it that. Come on then, show yourself, wolf. Oh, I'll let you leave you into the river then. Be gone. Right, here we are. We are approaching Riverwood. A quaint little town here in the mountains. I guess named after the river that runs through it. There's a good mill there as well. And oh look at these look at these fellas. Who are these? Someone do something. Someone militia. Valkyrie militia. My word. I could have used your help when that assassin was after me. 
Hope you're nobler than those band of adventurers down there. There we are, Riverwood discovered. Look at this. Nice little town. Right then, we need to go to the trader and the smith. We'll go to the smith first to sell the the uh, swords, and then I also want to buy some iron for fittings. Because like a fool, I didn't bring the, any iron with me, although I have plenty at home. Right, let's sell our swords first. We'll sell the glass dagger and the sword of blaze. I'll sell the steel dagger as well. We've got the shoulder pad. I could sell that for some coin, but I want that as evidence that they've, they're after me, so I'll keep that. Instead, I'll buy from you, my friend, some iron, some much-needed iron. I'll buy the lot. I think we need about 15 fittings anyway, so we'll make, we'll make them all here. Let's quickly do that, shall we? Well, who's that? Is that a hunter there? Wait, what? What's lying around? Did I drop something? What? Oh, someone just yelled help! Who just yelled help? There is everyone okay? Okay. That hunter said I left something lying around. Imperial. Impe yes, I am an Imperial. Right, let's go back to forging, shall we? Right, here's the fittings. I say we make 15 of them. I think we need about 10, but uh, we'll be 15 on the safe side. We'll use them in the future anyway on other builds. And there we are. We've made 15 iron fittings. Now we just need some straw. Here's hoping the trader has uh, enough straw for our needs. We only need about two anyway, so please, rather a trader, I beg of you, have some straw. Oh, oh, they're getting into some kind of argument here. No adventurers. Right, I have no concern for your argument, and I can't help you. I'm a humble farmer. I wish only for some straw, please, friend. Give me some straw. Yes, 15 straw. I'll take the lot. Only two per piece. That's very good. Have you got anything else? I'll take your glass as well, because I'm going to need glass in the future as well. So I may as well while I'm here. Anything else? I think. I'll take the goat horns as well, because we'll need those as well. That's for the half fire house that we're going to build one day. Not just yet. We're going to need plenty more coin before we do that. But yeah, we've got the straw. So let's go back to our farm. It was a short stay here in Riverwood, but we came here for the straw and we got it. So we shall depart presently. But uh, looks like there's some nice folks around here. This wouldn't be a bad place to live, actually. It's quite secluded, uh, nice foresty area. Got a nice Did archer here. Look at this. Sven? Uh, no, I didn't. I don't know who you know who Sven is, friend. Please, I'll take a flower and be gone. <laughs> oh, there's some cabbages here, but uh, those aren't for me. Those are clearly someone else's cabbages. Oh look, they got a chicken just roaming the streets. Look at that. <laughs> be nice to have a chicken of my own. Right, get my farm up and running. Oh, and here's that hunter that picked something up. That did we drop? I don't Need know. He's got something that belongs to ours. Let's check his pockets. No, no, he's got nothing of ours. Here. Oh, let's go. Let's go catch up with those militia guys and travel the road with them. We may as well keep ourselves safe on the road. Militiamen, wait up. Get some shrooms. I, I wish to travel with you, friends. I'm sure you offer your services to, to help citizens travel. Oh, please ignore yes. him. That, that's just a wolf. That's just a wolf carcass. I'll take him off the road for you. I, I dealt with him myself. Very good. That's it. I'm going to walk with these guys for a while. Keep myself safe. Oh, they're drawing their weapons. They've seen an enemy, a hostile. Oh, it's a spider. I think the archer will deal with the spider. Look at that. Oh, they got ghost on by the spider. Easy, friends. Let's watch this unfold, shall we? I wonder what the Falcons militia are doing in Whiterun. Well, they're heading towards Whiterun anyway. Oh, watch out, friends. Easy, you're going to get poisoned to death. Oh, I'm getting hungry already. I guess we have been walking quite far. Come on, friends. You can deal with the spider. There we are. You nearly got him. Easy. Oh, they just fell off. <laughs> what are you doing? You're going you're gonna to die. What are you doing in there? You just They're gone. They've been sucked away by the water. Goodbye. Okay, looks like I can't stay with these guys anymore. Are they okay? They're swimming away. Right, I'm going to leave these guys to deal with that spider. It's nothing to do with me. I wanted to walk with them for, for protection, but... Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave them to it. I think the road is safe enough these days anyway. Still pretty early morning. Well, probably probably towards the afternoon now. All right, then. So with the straw and iron fittings procured, I think we should have everything we need to make the farm, as in the actual soil area where we can plant seeds. It's the Flix Refugee again. Hello, friend. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I'm, I promise I'm not ogling you, friend. I just wish to know what's wrong with you. Are, are you I'm ill? One of the afflicted. I see. I dead from this plague a year ago, if not for Periite's protection. Plague? What, what plague do you speak of? Where are you Turning going? To High Rock. 
Our shepherd see. lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those Hi, who remain with him. Kesh could tell well, you more. Kesh. Out of Skyrim as quickly Our friend, as I, I, I don't want to know about this plague. Just, just stay away from my farm, please. Don't, do not bring your plague to my farm. I don't know who Kesh is, but I think that's above my pay grade to deal with plagues and, and such. But I wish you luck on the road, friend. It's a dangerous road indeed. But good luck on your way to High Rock. Our road takes us back down to our farm to ready our, our farmland for seed planting. Oh, I hear the glow of a, uh, or the hum of a Nern root beneath the bridge. I'll take that. That could definitely come in handy. Very good. Oh, there's one guard helmet still here. Let's put it here on the bridge so the guards can see it. Nice. A way to honour him, if you will. Another one as well. Oh, yeah, this was from the last episode. Uh, not from the last episode, but, when, but from Life as a Beggar. When the bandits came rolling over the hill here, chasing us. I really hope they don't find out that we, ha that we now have a farm over there. And they decide to attack us. That would not be fun. Having a bandit army rolling over the hillside. Raiding our farm. All the guards in the world would be able to help us. And there we are, more wild game. One day we'll hunt uh, some game. I don't think we need to right now, but we have plenty of food. But should we get hungry and want meat, we could definitely find a piece of game to hunt. Oh, look, another reflects refugee. Are you are you okay, friend? Oh, he's the, the, the same story as the other guy. Cash could tell you more. I just okay, Cash. I guess these all these both know Cash. I guess they're all followers of the same same branch or something. Oh yeah, find Cash. I think that's above my pay grade. I'm not going to go deal with that. Oh look, it's the venturers who didn't help me. How nice to see you, friends, huh? A, a, a citizen in need, and you, you 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 looked away from me. You ran. The four of you could have taken him on. I know he's a dark brother assassin, but you're meant to be experienced adventurers. We'll leave them. We'll return to our life. We'll leave them to theirs. They're probably con men anyway. Right, let's get our walking stick out. And oh, there's someone running in the distance over there. We'll uh, run back to our farm because I want to get this farm and seeds planted before nightfall. That's the goal. That's Loris Farm, by the way. Please don't... Oh, I think that's just a hide bodyguard, actually, with a wench. Is it? Yeah, it's a hide bodyguard. Right, then. Here's our farm. We shall return and make make way for our... Oh, there's another wolf here as well. Get away! Get away. Let's go up to the watch watchtower and see uh, if there's any troubles coming our way. We should get a guard to be stationed up here permanently. Okay, the horizons look clear. Everything looks safe. I think we're in good order to uh, to build our farm now. Very good. Maybe we can get rid of this cart as well. It seems to be crashed here. Look at all this. We've got to dig up these stones and fix these fences and stuff. But I think we have everything we need now. I could use a nap. Rest can wait. We have a lot of work to do. Let's raid our chest for all of our supplies. We'll take everything, although we don't need everything. We will... Uh, Grab it. Grab the lot. And then straw. So let us plant. Well, not plant, but build our farm. So repair the farm yourself. Yeah, 10 iron fittings. We need 15. That's that's fine. And there we are, repaired. Where is it now? It's evening again. After eight hours of work, the fencing and windmill have been repaired. Oh, it repaired the windmill as well. That's why we needed the iron then, I guess. And like the fittings and stuff. The fencing houses eight plots of land where you can grow crops, as well as two additional fields for the housing of chicken and cows. Nice. The windmill... Ah, oh, the windmill can be used to grind wheat into flour. With the farmland restored, farmers can now be hired. Doing so will allow you to grow crops and earn money for your farm, from your farms. Oh, very nice. Farmers can be used to, uh, can be hired using the business ledger located in the farmhouse cellar. I don't think we can quite afford workers just yet. I think we need a few harvests uh, and uh, and profits before we can start hiring workers. But I'm going to store the rest of these materials. So I don't need them all just yet. Store the leather as well, why not? Nails, quarried stone, and straw. I'll store a few torches as well. Oh, very good. It's evening again, and the, the, the glorious lights in the sky are back. And here it is. Here's our farm. Look at this. It's mighty indeed. So how do we get our hands on cows, then, I wonder? Uh, the watchtower's still there, by the looks of it. Good. thought they'd remove the watchtower. But here's our farmland. Look at this. We shall begin planting seed ASAP. Very nice. Fantastic. Wait, can I not plant seeds without farmers? I thought you could just put seeds in the ground. 
Maybe I have to pay the leisure a visit then and actually see about hiring a farmer. A furious snowstorm draws near. Okay, a snowstorm is about to fall upon us, so let's get inside quickly. But here it is. So, there's there's room for um, chickens and cows as well. That's awesome. And the windmill's here. I thought the windmill was going to be there. I don't know what that building is then. What is that dilapidated building for then? Who knows, but the windmill's here. And I think we can actually use it to grind our own. Yes, we can. Mill. Three wheats and a sack of flour. There we are. Fantastic. We still got to build this house and we still got to build whatever that is over there. We'll check the uh, business ledger when we go inside now. It's about hiring some farmers. But uh, yeah, let's get inside actually. The snowstorm fell down pretty quickly. Into the warmth we go. Right, the business ledger is down in the cellar. Now I want to begin planting seeds ASAP. So I might use that gold I put in there to hire workers if I need to. So if we activate the business ledger... Uh, collect gold. What does that do? Start earning gold from your business by clicking the first option below. Gold will become available for collection daily at 8 a.m. You'll earn 150 gold from your farm, 200 gold from your meadery, and 50 bonus gold from your guards. Let's start income. You must hire farmers, a brewer, or guards before you can start earning money from your business. Okay, let's hire some farmers then. Hire workers. Hire farmers. 600 gold removed. Two farmers have been hired. There we are. It was only 600, 600 gold. I mean, I guess that is quite a lot. We don't we now have it. Oh, yeah, it was quite a lot to be fair. We've only got 739 uh, now. But can we hire more? Hire workers. Can we hi should we hire more farmers? Farmers already hired, so you can only hire two. That's fine. So let's begin gold collection, shall we? Start income. Income script activated. There we are. So we should be earning gold now from the farm. So let us have a nice sleep and then check the farm come morning. Landlord's quarters. Right, let's sleep, shall we? There we are. You're waking feeling rested. How hungry are we? I'm guessing we're going to be very hungry. We are very hungry, very thirsty. Now let's go and eat our fill upstairs, shall we? But yeah, so far, everything's looking good. Oh, here are the farmers. Here's one of them. Sigia. Hello. Fine day to you, friend. May you yes. die with a sword in your hands. Uh, I wish not to die. I guess they're a couple. The farmers are a couple, I guess. A husband and wife pair that I hired. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, friend. Rogvold. Hello. Your eyes are still closed, friend. You need to open them to see the where you plant. There we are. <laughs> but yeah, I guess these farmers are a couple then. Um, need something? Their neck and the neck is a. What's going on with your neck there? You need to get that fixed. But that's a. What, what is that axe? Look how big that ha uh, head oh. on that axe is. My word. Well, I wish you luck. Let's go check on the farm, shall we? Oh, it's raining. It's a pretty vicious rain, although the soil could probably use it, to be fair. Oh, now we can plant uh, in the soil here. Very good. Now we can. We have to hire the farmers first. And oh, no, we've already got two cows as well. So I guess hiring the farmers gave us the cows. And uh, who's that running there? Don't know who that is. We'll leave them be. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of stuff here to to plant. Very nice. Where's the? Ch have we got our chickens yet? We've got cows. Where's our chickens? Oh, the earnings are available already now. First earnings are available. Very good. We'll collect that when we come back. I'm very thirsty and hungry, so let's eat, shall we? I've contracted a tax here. Did I get that from the river water? And rock joint. I think the river water made me sick. Okay, so the river water isn't clean after all. That's not good. Okay, and uh, wait, who are they up there? Who are those people watching over us? Who goes there? Hey, who are you? Make yourself known if you're going to be watching my land. What Hide bodyguard. Hmm? Well, I could ask you the same thing. You watching over my land. Although you're welcome to stay here if you want to protect me from bandits and stuff. And uh, Oh, this is new. What's this? Ah, oh, water. Brilliant. Fantastic. We have a water supply going. Very nice. Right, we have a lot to do. We have seeds to plant. We have more buildings to construct. And I need to run to town and get myself cured of my new sicknesses from that water. I guess that river wall wasn't as clean as I thought. Yeah, I've got rock joint and ataxia. Affects my strength and dexterity. I can't have that. I, I've got work to do. I need my strength. Right then, let's uh, check on the farm. Let's see what else. Oh, we've got a horse now. Our own horse. Yes, finally. Oh, and here's the chickens as well. Man, I didn't know uh, hiring farmers would give us all this. Soldier. Our steed. Yes. Look at that. Right, we can, we can head to town on horseback then. Very good. We'll get, we'll get us there quicker. Let's check the carpentry workbench then. Uh, workbench control. So we've done the we've done the farmhouse. We've done the farm. Let's do the meadery. Let's do the guardhouse next, actually, because we want guards ASAP. For that, we're gonna need. Oh, hang on. So the guard, 
The destroyed guardhouse can be repaired and then utilized as a lookout for guards to protect your steading. Okay. You can repair the guardhouse yourself. Okay, we all know that. Let's start building materials. We need classic, classic mix of firewood, quarried stone, clay, nails, iron fittings, lock. We've got the locks. We need some more iron fittings and ingots, I think. So when we go to town to get cured from our diseases, we will pick up some more iron. There's some braided bread there. Probably won't do the guardhouse in today's episode because that's a lot of wood cutting to do. But yeah, for now, I say we plant some crops, head to town, get cured, pick up some iron, come back, and then we can begin the uh, the guardhouse. We, we'll be welcome to have some guards. That'd be very nice. Right, let's go get those cabbages. Right, I say we start off with some good old cabbages, leeks, and potatoes to start growing. That'll be more than enough, I think. And we can sell the rest that we don't plant. Right, there we go. Potatoes, cabbages, and leek is a perfectly good start to any any reasonable farm. Let's collect our earnings as well, shall we? Wait, where does it store? Oh, farm earnings in the safe here. It's 150 coin. Let's grab that. So that automatically puts it into our safe there. This safe is for something else, I'm guessing. Right then. Fantastic. Right, let's go plant those potatoes then. Farmers already getting to work. This guy's sharpening his sword, ready for any attack. Very good. And his wife, I'm guessing, is getting ready. Plowing the land. We've got our own little farmer community going on here. Too bad I couldn't hire um, beggars. I'm still going to bring beggars onto my farm and I'll house them somewhere else. But I, c I couldn't actually hire them as workers, sadly. And uh, we've got some vigilance here as well. Hello, vigilance. Are you looking for werewolves and things? What are you running away from me for, huh? It's always good to have vigilance nearby. They can always help us. Right then, let's organise how we're going to farm. Because we want to keep everything uniform. So there's cows there. I think we'll fill up from the back first. Let's make this line. Actually, let's do it here. So this part here will be something. This part here will be something. Let's do potatoes this side. First potato planted. There we are. Let's plant another one. There we are. Look at that. The ground rises as we plant them. Very nice. Got plenty more to plant. And this is our last potato. There's still one more spot there for a potato. So we should... Uh, I think we're getting our hands on another one. But look, this whole area now is just purely potatoes. And I think here we'll plant some leeks. Boom. Boom. Very nice. There we go. I think that's a good area for the leeks. A good few huh? leeks there. Let's plant. Let's use this area for gourds, shall we? I think that's a cool idea. We've got five gourds, so only a few. Good old gourds. We've got a nice little mix of uh, crops going there. Nice. There we are. There's a few more spots yeah. there that we need to get some more gourds before we do that. And I think here, I would like to do some cabbages, I think. A nice little ring of cabbages. Let's do this side first. There we are, so cabbages are planted. There's still plenty more to plant. We'll get some different kinds of crops, though, to do that. Uh, can I store some stuff in these chests? I can't store anything here. Right then, let's leave these farmers to get to work, shall we? We need to head to town, so let's get our new steed that was gifted to us. And we got the farmers. Very welcomed indeed. Dark clouds and thunder threaten your path ahead. Right, let's mount up quickly then. And uh, get to water and quickly because the storm is approaching. Thunder and rain are coming. But we're just too. We need to get ourselves cured of the sicknesses ASAP because we can't linger with a rock joint and a ataxia. Those will begin to hurt us very much. Oh, look at this. We've got our steed. Yes. Traveling, traveling to and fro from Whiterun will be a lot quicker now. Oh, yep, the storm comes. Can draw my walking stick on my horse if I need need to. Look at that. Yes, yes. My noble steed. Let us fly through the wind. Get out of this rain. Make way. There's a nice stable in what I'm waiting for you. I'll give you plenty of hay. Oh look who it is. It's the band of cowards that would not help a a citizen in need, huh? I bid you farewell. I hope I hope some quest you find takes you far from this place. Oh, and who's that fellow there? Oh, that's the orc. That's the old orc. That uh, that's not the orc. Who is that? Are you okay, friend? Who goes there? All right. Hand oh, he's a thief. I should not have talked to this guy. Um. Oh no, I don't want to give him my coin. That's my hard-earned coin. Do I look like? Look, I, I, I dig dirt. I'm a farmer. Do I look like I have any money? No, guess not. There we are. Well, get out of here before I change my mind. There we are. You managed to convince him. Oh, it was our steed. Don't run. Don't go without me, friend. Steed, I need you. Please, come back. That thief, uh, listened to our words. I guess we look poor enough that he believed us. 
I could have run to those adventurers, but I, don't, I doubt they would have helped us like last time. Uh, so leave that thief. Be on his way. I guess in the future, don't go talking to strangers for no reason. Trying to be helpful. Oh look, some pilgrims up ahead running out, trying to get out of the rain. <laughs> I wish you luck, pilgrims. But they, they, they get thinner and thinner, as in their numbers. Every time I see them, I guess more and more die on the road. It's not safe being a pilgrim these days. It's not safe being anyone. A vicious time indeed. This storm reflects the times very well. Alright, here are the stables, and I wonder if I can stable my horse, my horse without it running away. If not, I'll just bring it into the city with me. Actually, I don't know if you can bring a horse into the city. If I leave you there, horse, you're not going to run and leave leave me, are you? Right, please, horse, don't don't run back. He's, he's walking away. You're, you're my steed now, horse. I need you to listen to me. Right, also, I'm pushing that other horse. Let me get, get you inside. Yeah, if, I leave my, if I get off my horse, he starts walking back to the farm. Maybe he's not meant to be ridden. He's only meant to be used as a farm horse. Yeah, I can't actually get off him inside the thing itself. Alright, let's walk him up to the uh, actual city gate, shall we? Well, the Khajiits are gone. As is their uh, MO. Actually, I don't know if you can bring horses into cities. I don't think you can, can you? It would be cool if you could, though. I'm going to probably have to dismount before I can get inside, right? Yeah, I have to, I have to dismount. Well, if you, if you do go home, be safe, horse. I can't have you dying on the road, so... Please. Yeah, he's already walking back. <laughs> Look at him. We'll catch up to him on the road, probably. Let's get inside. Right, while the blacksmith is still working, we'll buy some much needed iron, because we're going to need plenty in the future. Iron ingots. Ooh, how much can I buy? 300 for 25. I'll take that. That's a steal. And I have some crops that I could sell to her, actually. I'll sell some ale and, and black rye mead. I don't need those. The crops aren't worth it to sell. I'll, I'll keep hold of the crops. I'll sell an amethyst that I got from my clay deposit. But I've given her a lot of business, that's for sure. Right, well done. I'll make some iron fittings now, because we're going to need some more anyway. Let's make some nails as well. I think we need 50, 50 nails for the next batch. I'll make the fittings as well. I only need to make five of those for the next build. So I've already got five. We need to do some hinges as well, but I, I don't know how many we need, so I'll, I'll get a list before I do that. Now, let's see how much coin we have. I have 697. I don't think I can afford a single cure disease potion. So I'm going to go pay a visit to the temple, and hopefully, if I pray hard enough to one of the divines, they will answer my call. And look, it's a beggar. Hello, are you okay? Please, here, take, take a gold piece. I haven't much, but I know what it's like being a beggar, so... So please, accept my humble coin. Right, oh, there's a Tallow Shrine. Let's pray to the Tallow Shrine. I'm not much of a believer in any of the divines, but if Talos, if you can cure me from my ailments, I'll, I will not devote myself, but I will begin believing in you. And I shall pray to you, friend. So if you see here, we have Ataxia and Rock Joint. If we pray to the Shrine of Talos, friend, in the storm and the rain and the thunder, I pray to you. All, all diseases are cured, yes, and a blessing added. There we are, we've been cured. And we've also got the blessing of Talos. Thank you, Talos. Is this the start of, of a humble farmer's belief in, in Talos into a greater deity? I shall have to keep it a secret, though. But if the Thalmor will catch wind of my Talos worship. It's so good to see you again. Uh, it's nice to hear, beggar. I, I wish you the best. I'll give you a coin whenever I need it. Actually, take another coin. Actually, I, don't, I can't give her another coin. I've already given her one. Any other beggars that need a coin or two? I'm feeling generous now that I've been cured from my ailments. But yeah, I guess, my friends, this is the start of a, uh, of a, of this character's belief in Talos. Well, I know he believes in him already, but like an actual worship in him. We have to be wary that the Thalma might catch wind of a, of a landowner believing in Talos. Here, friend, take a, take a coin piece. Uh, I, don't, I can't actually give him a coin. Okay, let us return to our farm. I think we don't need to do anything else, so let's, let's go home, shall we? Mercenary wizard. Oh, I, I would, I would too, friend. I would too. Right. Let's just get back home quickly. Get nice and warm out of the rain. Right then. And uh, oh, the mercy wizard is here. Where's our horse? I wonder how far he's got from us. Oh, it yeah, looks like our horse is gone. That's a shame. So I wonder how you actually get your horse not to just walk away from you. I really hope he has gone back to the farm. Because if not, that's my, that's my horse gone. Let's go, go buy another one. Right, maybe, maybe that horse is meant only for the land, like it's a work horse as opposed to like a travelling horse. And there's my horse there. He is on the road walking away. Look at him, he's got a mind of his own. At least he's walking back towards the farm. Alright, let's board him, shall we? Come on, friend. Steve, let's go back home. 
passing Hunningbrood Meadery. We will one day make our own meadery. Produce our own little special uh, brand of mead, I suppose. Or ale. I'm more of an ale fan myself. My word, this storm is just unrelenting. Uh, let's get out of this place. And oh, what's going on there? Look at that. There's fighting going on. My word. Well, th this has nothing to do with me. Let's ignore that stuff. Is, is that an Atronok? A flame Atronok? I think it is. Alright, let's stay away from that stuff. Oh, who's this fella? Oh, there, you look interesting. I know I said I wouldn't talk to strangers anymore, but you look interesting enough. A mercenary. A humble mercenary. Oh, there's been trouble nearby, is there? Oh, she's on the way to investigate trouble. I would like to actually know about that, what that trouble is. What is that trouble? Where are you headed? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to interfere. I could say... I'm not going to say... Um, nah. I could save you a lot of trouble. No, be, be on your way. I, I can't do your job for you. Yeah, sorry. I'm a humble farmer. I don't think I can do mercenary. I wish you luck in your adventures. But I've got a farm to tend to. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Wasting her time. What, what, a, what a rude individual indeed. I was trying to be a friendly neighbour. Adventurers. Look at you out here getting cold and wet. I know I gave you an invitation to my farm, but you're no longer welcome in my farm. Where there's free food and drink for anyone worthy. You are not worthy, I'm afraid. Oh, is that the fire mage? You are indeed worthy, fire mage. Hello, friend. You're the one who saved me. Very good to see you, friend. Yeah, he's the, there he is. I guess he's hanging around the, this area. See? See, adventurers, this is a man worthy. This is a man worthy of my hearth and home. Are you okay? Do you want to come? Do you want to come to my farm, friend? You look very cold. Another corpse for the pie. Indeed, it is, friend. But uh, I know you're a grand, powerful magic uh, fire wizard, but I, I, I owe you something at the very least for saving my life. Would you like to come to my farm where I can give you a meal or something? He doesn't seem interested. He has a he's a man on a mission by the looks of it. Some blades here, imperial swords. Please, friend, don't don't wander through the storm. You can go you can go in the morning. Just just come to my place. I'll give you a meal. There we are. That's it. You come with me. Let's get out of this rain. Listen, tomorrow morning you can hit the road and you can go on your way. But uh, allow me, please, to give you a meal at the very least. I owe you that for saving my life from that dark brother assassin. My horse is already getting away from me. Uh, let's go home. It's the least I owe such a, a brave uh, wizard for saving me. I think I think you know that that'll be a good way to pay his debts. See, this guy's been kind of lingering around in the rain. He's he obviously has a purpose of doing something, but I think I can wait a day while he kind of rests and recuperates. So it's only down here, friend. It's not too far away. There's plenty. There's plenty to eat. There's plenty to eat. I'm getting hungry myself, actually. Let's mount my horse once more. Make sure our fire wizard is with us. You're you're better dressed for this storm than even I am, friend. You've got a nice cloak and hood. I need to get myself a hood such storms. Right, so here we are. Home sweet home. It's really coming together now. We just need to build that meadery, that guardhouse. And I'm very cold, so I'm not going to linger out for too long. Farmers, please, get inside. You're, you're hard working indeed, but you need not work so hard out in this kind of weather. Let us return our horse, our good old steed to the stables. There he goes. And you, Fire Wizard, come to the house with me. Let's, let's warm up by the table, shall we? Let's go. Well, Fire Wizard, uh, feel free to, to sit down and help yourself. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? Did you just go to the cellar? I, I guess I, I told him to make himself feel at home, but he's gone to the cellar, I think. And nobody's gone up here. Okay, he's just teleported up here. <laughs> your, your magic knows no bounds, huh? Well, there's a shrine of Julianos here. I, should, I could have prayed to that instead. But I'm now a Talos worshipper. After he saved me from such, it, such horrible diseases. Well, uh, I would welcome you to a meal, friend. Uh, you don't have to stand up here. You You're welcome to stay at the actual dinner table. Well, that's it. Come sit by the table. Come sit down. You mm. Take a seat. Look, you can you can help yourself to this little meal here. It's a humble meal. It's not much. It's a simple uh, chicken breast with some leeks and tomatoes. Also, we've got some black brown meat here. Help yourself. What cheeses are plenty. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> I guess this guy really likes being upstairs, huh? Oh, there he He's at this table here. There we are. Eat some food, friend. That's it. Yes, get, in, get into your belly. All right, I'm gonna go rest my spirits, friend. You're welcome to take a bed. Uh, there's not one in here, but there's one downstairs. I'm sure the farmers oh. wouldn't mind. But uh, I'm actually hungry myself. Let me let me eat. Actually, no, I'll eat in the morning. Right. Well, I'm gonna go get some sleep. Uh, yeah. Come morning, you can be on your way. 
and rest up. Let's go downstairs, shall we? Alright, our good old bed is just this way. It's a much needed rest after that. What what a what a eventful day. Alright, it's about ten to six. I'm very hungry, very thirsty, so I'm gonna go eat my breakfast with that fire mage. Maybe he can tell me some grand stories of his travels and life as a mage. Let's go upstairs. Oh, hello, friend. There you are. I hope you had a very good uh, uh, sleep. And you, you seem to be eating very well, so that's that's always good to see. I'll sit with you, yes. friend, and I'll eat, eat some food myself, I think. Oh, the farmers are here as well. They, they obviously yes. came in not soon after me. Oh, I'm, I'm fancying some venison stew for, for today. Well, you're welcome to stay for as long as you want. Uh, you did save my life, after all. And what might you need? I, I need nothing for it. Not after you save me. Friend, may you die with a sword in your hands. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to die with a sword in my yes. hand. Listen, I know you're a Nord, but I'm an Imperial. Dying, <sighs> dying in your bed is a perfectly reasonable way to go. It's actually what most people want. So, I guess oh, this is all the f farmers' belongings. So we can't take any of this stuff because this this is all their personal belongings, which makes sense. Everyone's welcome to their own privacy right. working here. Oh, see, this guy heading off as the fight was going. I think he's had enough. Oh, he's gone. It is morning. Let's see him off, shall we? It's still raining. Oh, the clouds part as the rain passes on. Oh, anyway, he's, he's waiting for the rain to pass on, is he? Before he leaves. Good idea. Oh, the rain is, is beginning to cease. It's slowing down and it's, it's nearly gone. There we are. The rain is gone. I I hope you have a very safe journey on the road. You did save my life. Maybe we'll meet again one day. <laughs> but for now, goodbye, friend. How's our farm doing? Let's see. Everything has been planted, but it's still growing, of course. It's going to take a while yet. Wait, where's the fire wizard going? Just going off into the wild, is he? Oh, I, I bid you farewell, friend. I, I wish you well on your adventure. He's just going off into the distance, is he? We probably will never see him again, sadly, but if we do, it'll be a welcomed, a welcome sight, for sure. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. And I think that is the perfect place to end this episode. It's a new morning, a new day. Got plenty of work to do next episode. We're going to build this meadery here. Actually, no, we're going to build the guardhouse first, which I believe that's what this is. I thought that was a mill, but that's actually going to be a guard's watchtower, which these dilapidated stairs will lead up to. So we'll do that next. We have most of the ingredients. We've got to do some wood cutting and stuff. But uh, after that, we should have enough. I think we've got enough iron and iron fittings to build the guardhouse. I think we need one lock as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We've planted the first seeds of our new farm. They shall blossom and grow into much needed vegetables to then sell for coin. Very good. And yeah, so I leave it here, friends. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. Your viewership is always appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.